uh, candle here is red jasper and pumpkin spice. This is our fire. Oh, we saged everything. The area, the laptop, zoom, <laughs> all the tools. So we're ready to go. A little bit of extra saging. That's fire. Safety, I'll put it out there. This house divine. Beautiful dragon eye crystal. Look at this. It's been empowered by a shaman, one of my teachers. We use it for healing, it's very powerful. It's beautifully powerful. Here with the unk. Masculine, feminine energy combined. Use this to concentrate the healing energy. Send it to wherever it needs to go. Energy knows no time or space or any limits. So as it's sent, it's received. Wherever you are. You also use this amazing thing. To disturb the auras and if we were here in person rather than on video we'd be burning this beautiful stuff which is dragon's blood it's a plant that's called dragon's blood it's not truly from a, a dragon and then we use this wonderful bee puffer so we put this in here close it up and then use this to puff the smoke around you if you're in person you'd be seeing this of course we're online so we'll be more visualizing it and the smoke we also use the power of the feathers beautiful things to cleanse the energy And we use the gong. And we finalize it all with some drumming or my shamanic drum called the lady.
It's always important to be fully here, fully present, to call yourself into this place, into this moment. Almost imagine that all your thoughts, you can pull them into a ball, hold it in your hand, like a bouncy tennis ball, grab it behind you, you pick it up later if you really must. Come into here, into the heart, into the heart chakra, fully in, fully present in this moment. Breathe in and out a few times. Okay, let's call in our helpers to help with this healing energy. I call upon the east, the south, the west and the north to lend us their powers of healing and protection. I call upon fire, water, earth and air to lend us their powers of healing and protection. I call upon the goddesses, as many I call in four I work with. I call in goddess Bast, Wajet, Sekhmed and the powerful winged Isis to lend us their powers and healing and protection. I call in also the archangels to give us a bit of masculine energy. I call in Michael, Gabriel, Uriel and Raphael to lend us their powers of healing and protection. I also call in my shamanic temple. All my guides, all my protectors, all my healers from Atlantis and Acturia, the Mayan and the Native American, and ask the dragons to attend and provide healing and protection. And I call upon the energies six points of my shamanic temple the above the before the below the behind to the right and to the left may the energies contained here within this healing be fully protected by source great spirits goddesses archangels and ascended masters may what is shared here be brilliantly visible to your heart and to your soul and i hope you are ready to heal yourself using the energy that is channeled to you and may this healing process be invisible to people or spirit that are not ready to assist with an open and unconditional heart amen so be it and thank you and i'm going to say this three times i invite only beings of the highest light who love us unconditionally i invite only beings of the highest light who love us unconditionally and I invite only beings of the highest light who love us unconditionally dear goddess Isis Sekhmed Bast and Wajat please protect the energies portal intentions and all beings who journey within this healing session let it be through all dimensions time and space so be it Okay, we're going to go into the healing session. Take maybe up to 60 minutes, maybe a bit less. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to smudge you to cleanse your aura with the dragon blood incense. We're going to use the bee puffer to puff the smoke all around you. And obviously, because we're doing this virtually, we'll just pretend the smoke's there with our eyes closed. Then we're going to go into a chakra cleanse 
but I'm going to use the Ankh Masculine and Feminine Power and the Dragon Eye Healing Crystal. I'm going to cleanse each of the chakras so they're spinning up perfectly. Then we'll go into a bit of a shocking rattle cleanse throughout the whole of your auras. Once we've cleansed the first three levels of your aura, there are seven uh, that we know of. And uh, once those are cleansed, we'll then go through and give you a little bit of a, a chime to settle your energies back down. We're also going to use a feather. And the feather is going to be used to go through each of the three levels of aura that we're going to work with. And it's going to move energy that's stuck in any place in the body, in any of the chakras, in any of the auras, it's going to move it down into the earth. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that you're fully grounded by connecting your, you to the earth through your feet chakras and through your root chakra. And each breath out is pushing all of your energy deep into Mother Earth. And she's transmuting that. She will send back pure, cleaned energy. So we're always removing and replacing with clean energy. So there's no room for anything to come in that shouldn't be there. And your body and your mind and your soul know exactly which energy needs to and can be removed. Some needs to stay there for whatever reason. Others you can get rid of. So that's what we're going to be doing. As we breathe out, we're imagining all of our energy is moving into Mother Earth. We're breathing, it's all coming back cleansed. And then at the very end, I'll use the shamanic drum just to seal it all off. And then you can just relax. You can fall asleep and do whatever you need to do. If you've got some questions or there's anything I feel that came through that I should transmute to you, tell you about, I will. So the first thing is to do as we normally do, just breathe. Breathing is the access to everything. Highly recommend Wim Hof breathing if you've not heard of him. So, okay, you can stand up. Or you can lie down it's up to you the next part will definitely be lying down if you want to lie down now do so and get comfortable if not to stand or sit either way so i'll give you a moment to to do that obviously make sure you're all cool enough or warm enough okay so i'm now lighting the dragon's blood I'm putting that into the bee puffer. We're using all of the energies of the directions and the goddesses and the archangels and of the elements and of the shamanic temple. I am connecting to source and I am a hollow bone and I am sending you the energy for your mind, body and soul to use as you need i don't need to know what your complaints are you know that your body knows that maybe even some that you don't even know of that this energy can work on and cleanse so i shut if you could put your hands in a position either on your lap or whatever it is with the palms up because i'm going to be smoking the palms at a certain point okay The dragon blood smoke is coming out. It's not going to make you cough or sneeze. It's not going to hurt you or affect you in any way. And now smoking around the crown of your head. And the smoke is circling around your head, collecting. And they're going to circle around your face. And the smoke is coming around, fully encompassing your head. And around your neck and we are going to work down the left side of you your left ear the side of your neck across your shoulder down your arm all the way down your arm down the side of your torso your hip 
down the side, the front, smoking around the hold of your leg, all the way down the calf, the ankle, the foot, the toes. The smoke is encompassing all that side of your body. And slowly coming back up to your head, across the right side of your body, your right ear, the right side of your neck, your right shoulder, your right arm, slowly down your right arm, your right torso, the hip, the leg, all around the leg, smoking the leg, all the way down, 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 the calf, and the ankle, and the foot, and the toes, and then slowly back up to the crown again, and then to the front of your head, to your third eye, and smoke in your face. The smoke is soft and gentle and smells divine. And then to your throat, and to your heart, down the front of your torso, all the way down to your root. And it's at this point at your root chakra, I want you to imagine a root growing from your bottom of your spine deep into the earth, deep, 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 like a, a huge tree root, maybe an oak tree root, it's strong and powerful and deep, deep into the earth. And as you breathe out, you push your energy into the earth. As you breathe in, you receive that energy cleanse. And this is happening through the whole of this process. Okay, we're gonna go across to your left palm and smoke the palm because there's beautiful energy that's held there. hands do lots of work and then across to the right palm smoking that between all the fingers the thumb the wrist all those lines in the palm okay i'm going down the right side to the bottom of your foot and the toes and the sole of your foot i've just got a chakra i'm smoking that and i want you to imagine there's a root grown in the same way that it has from your root chakra, the root has grown from your foot. It's deep into the earth, deep, 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 connecting deep as it can go. Every breath out pushes the energy down to Mother Earth. Every breath in pulls the energy back. Cleansed, clean, ready and vital. Now moving across to your left foot the toes and the sole of your foot and cleansing the chakra there and imagine for me a strong root connection deep into the earth deep deep into the earth and as before every breath out pushing the energy down every breath in putting the energy back cleansed so you now have both of your feet and your spine your root chakra connected deep into mother earth and every breath out pushes your energy down the cleansing, every breath in, pulls your energy back cleansed. And this process is flowing for every breath. Okay, beautiful. And just to ensure we're fully grounded and fully rooted, I'm putting my hands on the top of your crown, running them down the sides of your head to your ears, down your neck, across your shoulders, down the outside of your arms, down to your wrists, across your fingers, down the outside of your torso, down the outside of your legs, down to your knees, where I'm then gripping your calves and running my thumbs down the front of your legs to your ankle, really pushing your energy deep into the ground, pushing it into the chakras at the bottom of your feet. Imagine that energy flowing in and out in and out, in and out. Obviously your breath will be slightly faster or slightly slower depending on how you're feeling. Beautiful. At this point, if you haven't laid down, please do. If you have, then continue to stay there, eyes closed. And I'll give you a moment to get yourself comfortable, make sure you're warm enough or cool enough. Remember to stay in your heart, all your thoughts from your heart. Turn the mind chatter off. Don't judge what you think or feel, what you see, just let it be. Just let it be. 
my body and soul already know how to do it. You don't need to get involved. Same way that your heart beats and your breathing occurs naturally. So the cleansing will occur naturally. Okay. Beautiful. So I'm lifting the arc up, the masculine and feminine in feminine balance. And I'm holding that on your crown chakra just above it with the beautiful healing crystal the power in here is very strong that's a dragon eye i'm placing that in the same place in your crown chakra you might see a violet color here purple some say maroon i want you to imagine that there's a flower petal there on top of your crown, on top of your head and it's spinning whether that's clockwise or anti-clockwise I want you to imagine that this crystal is cleansing the energy of that chakra it's truly empowering it it's ensuring it starts to spin if it's not it's spinning too fast it slows it down the whole idea is to align each chakra in turn until they're all spinning in unison so that you're fully powered up and that the energy is flowing from your chakras all the way down to your root into the earth with each breath coming back fully cleansed going into each chakra and fully cleansing each chakra so that spins up beautifully and allows you to be your true vibrant self the crown chakra moving now down to your forehead just above your nose your third eye and placing the crystal actually on your forehead here you may see an indigo often the third eye is very congested the things they put in our water the food we eat the electronics sitting on, under unnatural lights many things cause our third eye to be quite congested so often there's a lot of energy required to truly empower this this is your connection to the mystical to see things that cannot be seen with the normal human eyes which only see one percent of all the true lights so there's a lot hiding there you can't see beautiful okay i'm now moving down lifting it off your forehead over your nose over your lips under your chin holding it just in throat in front of your throat chakra here you may see a blue color a beautiful blue the idea is to spin this up so that you can speak fluently with passion from the heart we're going to connect the heart and throat chakra that you so you speak from the heart not from the overactive mind so we're spinning up your throat chakra every breath out the energy is moving down your chakras through the root into the earth and back up cleansed to spin up each of these chakras your crown your forehead your throat spinning in unison beautiful okay i'm now moving down in front of you and just above your heart the small pinky chakra and then there's your heart chakra these two connect the throat and the heart together the heart is green in color and the same thing we want to be in our hearts stay there in our hearts it's good to live from the heart Live from the passions, live from love. We're empowering that, giving it lots of cleansing, spinning it up. Beautiful. Right, and then we go down the front of your torso to your solar plexus chakra. Round about the belly button. And it's yellow in colour. We're spinning that up too 
ensuring that's connected to the heart, to the throat, to the forehead, to the crown. Beautiful. Okay, and then we're moving further down to your shape, sacral chakra, which is orange in colour, or often seen as orange. And that's spinning that up to ensuring it's connected to the solar plexus, to the heart, to the throat, to the forehead, to the crown. So the energy is flowing smoothly and perfectly all the way down. We then move down to your root chakra, which is working hard, cleansing the energy deep into the earth and back. And just to give that a bit of extra, extra boost, just to make sure it's working strongly. So your root, sacral, solar, heart, throat, eye, and crown chakra are all spinning together in unison, fully open. Imagine a spinning petal, multi petaled flower. Okay, we're now going to move across to your left palm and put the crystal in your left palm. Really power up the chakra in there. Beautiful. Then across the right palm, same thing. Crystal in the palm. Mm -hmm. And then going down your leg to the sole of your right foot, which is obviously connected at the moment, We're doing a lot of work. So we're just going to power that, spin that up, have that vibrating at a frequency that sends healing back into you takes all the stuff that shouldn't or you would rather wasn't in your body, in your chakras, in your auras, out of your system. Beautiful. And then we go across to the left foot in the same process, powering up that chakra, getting it spinning cleanly, making sure any energy that's coming down into it, into the earth, sent down, nothing gets stuck. Like a hose pipe, no kinks in it. It's flowing strongly. Beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna go anti-clockwise around your body with the crystal circling motion. Just imagining it all of those shackles spinning beautifully in unison, together, helping each other. Beautiful, that is beautiful. Okay, now just to make sure we're fully grounded and floated anywhere, my hands are on the top of your head, running down the side of your ears, down the side of your neck, across your shoulders, down your arms, all the way down to the wrists, across your fingers, down the side of your torso, your hips, down the outside of your legs, past your knees, and then my fingers around back of your legs and thumbs down the front, down to your ankles, pushing your feet into the earth, maintaining that constant breathing out of the energy for cleansing from other, by Mother Earth, breathing in, filling up with cleansed energy. <sighs> Breathe for a moment. <sighs> We're now going to be a bit harsh and use the rattle because you want to disturb your auras. The seven auras that we're working with here. And when we, once we've disturbed them, woken them up, made them ready to be cleansed, we're going to go through with a feather and we're going to look at the etheric level, which is very close to the physical. And it's the way the physical energy and possibly pains or, or issues may be. And then we're going to come out a few inches and we're going to go work our way through the emotional level and the emotional level is obviously your emotions that can get stuck they can get stuck anywhere many people have problems in their neck or they have headaches or back aches and uh, 
This can just be emotional energy that's been stuck for maybe decades. And then once we've done that, we'll move up to the mental level, to all the noise, the mind, or as fact, we threw that away earlier, but also that gets stuck in the auras. And we're not going to worry about the next four. The energy from the first three being cleansed is going to cleanse through those over the time, over the coming weeks and days. Okay, so this is a little bit harsh. And you may not hear me saying where I'm at in it, but I'm just going to go around the whole body like I have in the past bits and pieces. So I'm going to start with the crown. Sure, you're still grounded. I put my hands on the top of your head, running down past your ears, across your shoulders, down your arms, to the wrist, across your fingers, down the side of your torso, outside of your hips, down the outside of your legs, past your knees, I'm gripping your calf muscles with my fingers, thumbs on the front and the shins, down to your ankles, pushing your feet into the earth. Remembering that each breath out is sending energy down. Each breath in, cleanse beautiful energy coming back in into our chakras, into each of our auras. Okay, beautiful. So now what we're going to do is use the feather. And we've got this beautiful hawk feather. And we're going to cleanse each level, the first three. So we're going to go through the etheric, the emotional, and the mental auras. The whole idea is that we're taking the energy that's there, stuck in maybe the crown or the neck or the arm or the torso or the legs or the foot, and pushing it down into the earth through each of the chakras that are connected to Mother Earth, so the fifth chakra and the root chakra. So we're going to start first with the etheric level, which is the pain body in some ways, some people call it. So I'm going around the crown of your head. And I'm going to the front of your face. And I'm going to do your eyebrow on the left, the eye on the left, the cheek of your face, the side of your lip and your cheekbone. And then I'm going across to the right, the eyebrow, the eye, the side of the nose and the cheek, the lip. And then down to the jawbone, which can often be a place where people grind their teeth and hold the energy. Right, then round the neck, truly moving it so it's ready for cleansing. Then we're going to go back up to the head, down the left side, from the ear, the neck, the shoulder, we're working our way down the arm, the wrist, and all the tension that sometimes gets stuck in our fingers and thumbs and then going down the side of the left of the torso the hips and the leg all the way past the knee down the calf and the shin and the ankle the foot each of the toes and the pain that can sometimes occur in the bottom of the foot pushing it deep into the earth Breath out, the energy down, breath in, bringing it back. So we're just going to go up and down eight times on your left hand side, really making sure that any energy that's stuck here in this etheric aura is cleansed, moved out, brought back in, moved out, brought back in. Beautiful. Right, we're now going to go back up to the crown and down the right side, the ear, the neck, the shoulder, 
down the arm, all the way down to the wrist and the fingers and the palm and the hand that does so much hard work, and down the torso, down the hips, and the leg, and the knee, and the calf and the shins and the ankle, and the foot, the toes, the bottom of the foot, making sure the energy is slowing down. Now we're going back up to the top all the way down the right side of the body, pushing the energy into the earth, pulling it back, let's cleanse, pushing it into the earth, pulling it back, let's cleanse, pushing it into the earth. And we're doing this many times. Hmm, good stuff. Back up to the crown, and the third eye, the throat, the heart chakra, and we're going down the front of the torso, all the way to the root, shoring that again, each of the chakras that are possibly in some way connected with this etheric aura are cleansed, that the energy is moved down, so we're moving the energy out breath through root chakra deep into the earth, bringing back cleanse energy, dig down, coming back, dig down, from the root, all up to crown and back again, cleansing, really moving it through, the chakras are running well already, we're just helping them with any last bits of debris, beautiful, now I'm just going to do the left palm, just to make sure the right palm, left foot, right foot. Oh, beautiful. Now we're going to go, we're going to work our way through the emotional aura. This can often hold stuff that's been there for years. So you may feel some movement. It may not work immediately. It might take a few days. You might have some amazing dreams. So here we go around the crown. face, look at the forehead, the eyebrow, the eye, side of the nose and the side of the face, the cheek, jawbone again, onto the right, forehead, eyebrow, eyelid, cheek, lips, down the lips, side of the face, the jawbone, all that grinding that we often do. Okay, let's move that around, beautiful. Back up to the crown, we're going to do the left hand side again, removing all those emotions, pulling them all down the arm, down to the fingers, the torso, the hip, the leg, shin, ankle, foot, toes, bottom of foot, pushing it into the earth for cleansing, breathing it back in. Body cleansed, and we're going to do, do this eight times just to make sure it's truly cleansed. Okay, and then we're going up to the crown, bringing down the right ear, the right neck, the shoulder, down the arm. Pushing any emotional aura or energy that's stuck down the arm, the fingers, torso, hip, down the leg, right down to the ankle, the foot. As you breathe out, the energy goes into the earth, and when you breathe in, it comes back in all the way up the side of your body. So do that eight times as well, just to make sure we're moving all the energy down, bringing all the good energy back. Beautiful. That's absolutely gorgeous. And then that's looking good. And we're going to go up to the crown again, coming down the front, the face, down to the throat, the heart chakra all the way down the front of your torso to the root and back up again 
handling that each breath out is cleansing the energy so this is the emotional energy that's got stuck and cleansing it out moving it out of the body so from root up and all the way to the crown and down and she's breathing out cleansing breathing in putting all the lovely cleansing energy up and down here a few times making sure there's no emotions stuck in this aura beautiful then we're going to go across to your left palm cleansing that a little bit more across to the right palm cleansing that some more down to the left foot across the right foot beautiful and around the body let's go anti-clockwise just to make sure there's nothing stuck in the emotional levels anywhere this aura is fully cleansed beautiful and then we're going back up to the top of your head this time we're looking at the mental level so sometimes there's a lot of mental stuff going on in our heads the aura is all over our bodies so you can get mental energy stuck in your fingers and your thumbs and the feet in the back so let's start with the crown of the head again cleansing the mental aura doing the right side of your face this time eyebrows eye and nose and lip jaw and on the left side eyebrows and eye cheek and nose and lips and jaw and around the neck and then down the left hand side across your shoulder slowly down your arm to your fingers the whole of the left side of the torso the hip and down your left leg all the way deep into your feet deep into the earth the energy is being cleansed the mental aura is receiving the energy back and the in breath and look up and down here eight times to make sure it's oh, lovely and clean Beautiful. And then across to the right side of your your ear, your neck, your shoulder, down your arm to the fingers, the torso, the hip, down the right leg, all the way down to the ankle and the foot, ensuring the energy is flowing perfectly down there into the earth, breathing in to pull the energy back, all cleansed up and down eight times just to make sure there's nothing stuck in the mental aura beautiful absolutely gorgeous right then we're going up to the crown third eye, throat, heart chakra, all the way down to the root, making sure any mental energy that's stuck in the aura there that's connected to the chakras is moved out, breath out into the earth, breath in, comes back cleansed, the powers each of those chakras and the mental aura. So we've gotten down here a few times just to make sure we've moved Anything that's stagnant or stuck. Anything that's not helping our higher purpose. Anything that's mental chatter. Beautiful. And the left palm. And the right palm. And the left foot. And the right foot. And then just around all the body. Imagining the etheric, the emotional, and the mental auras all cleansed for this moment. All the energy that's not required sent with the out breath into the earth through the feet and root chakra brought back in cleansed. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 
into grounders again. Hands are on the crown of your head, down the side of your ears, your neck, across your shoulders, down the outside of your arms, all the way down to your wrists and across your fingers, outside of your hips and down the outside of your legs to your knees, gripping the back of your calves, and my thumbs down the front of the shins to the ankle, pushing your feet down, imagining all the energy that may have got stuck in those chakras that are working hard, squeezing it into the earth, breath out, pushing it down, breath in, coming back, cleansed, filling you up with beautiful, beautiful energy so that you're overflowing in every part of your aura and every chakra is spinning beautifully. Just to ensure we sort of close all those off and encrust all that beautiful energy, it's going to chime around your body, so around your head, your face, that jaw, the neck. Down the left side of your body, the ear, the neck, the shoulder, upper arm, forearm, wrist, the fingers, and down the side of the torso, the hips, the left leg, past the knee, Shin and calf, ankle, foot and toes, and then all the way back up. Across the right side, right ear, the neck, shoulder, upper arm, lower arm. The wrist, hand, fingers, right torso, right hip, right leg, past the knee, calves and shin, ankle, foot, toes, and then all the way back up. Crown of the head, forehead and third eye, face, chin, the throat, the heart, down the front of your body, all the way down to the root chakra. And then back up from the root front of the body, all the way to the crown, and then across to your left palm, and across the right palm, down to the right foot and the sole, across the left foot and the sole, Beautiful, and then all the way around your body, sealing in all that beautiful energy. Beautiful. And then just to make sure you're fully grounded still, the hands on the crown of your head, down the side of your ears and the neck, across the shoulders, down the outside of your arms, down to your fingers. Outside of the hips, down the outside of your legs to your knees, pulling the energy down your legs, down into your feet, pushing it into the earth. Imagine it each time the breath in is cleansed, the breath out, sending it down. Okay, okay. Now we're just going to seal all this in with a little bit of shamanic drumming, just to make sure it's all there, and the drum. It's got a very healing frequency as well, and it will affect all of your auras 
far as the chakras that are known and not known. The dragons, Isis, the lions, the warriors, the birds, the sun, the mystical signs, the mermaids, all here. to come around or do anything yet just want to thank the east the south the west the north the fire the water the earth the air the goddesses bast or jet segmed and isis for lending us their energy you could feel isis standing behind us sending the energy to you wherever where you need it thank you michael gabriel uriel raphael Thank you to my guides, the protectors, the dragons. Thank you to the shamanic temple. Thank you to you, your mind, body and your soul. May your chakras be spinning beautifully. May your auras be fully cleansed. This can take 28 days to fully encompass. You may have some uh, amazing journeys in your sleep. You may have some lucid dreams. I'm sure you drink lots of water. Take lots of breaks in nature. Thank you. Just in your own time, 
come back into your body release the roots that are connected to the earth from your left foot from your right foot from your root chakra thank mother earth for cleansing you through each breath remember you can connect like this anytime you want don't have to be in nature always helps if you are just feel yourself coming back in with all your toes and your ankles stretch your legs bend your knees move your hips around circular mate just around move the torso move the arms take a deep breath hug yourself hug yourself wake yourself up rub your face in your neck thank your heart and just relax for a while don't do anything too strenuous if you can and I'd love to hear what you received what you saw anything that comes to you in the coming month do let me know always very interesting to hear how this healing energy assists you so at this point I close the energy I close this portal may it be sealed and all the energies that are contained within it be available through time to space for all realities may there be no limit thank you for your time this is Kevin English mystic See you next time. Bye-bye.